Turning now to the COVID-19 pandemic, the state of Florida continues talks on how to safely reopen long-term care facilities to visitation. This afternoon, a task force appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis held a virtual meeting to start developing the next steps on how to allow family members to visit their loved ones. News for Jackson reporter Maggie Lorenz listened in on that meeting. And Maggie, I understand that the big focus today was on essential caregivers. Those are the people who before the pandemic were already regularly or even daily visiting their loved ones, but now they've been shut out for five months. The state and health officials that were on the meeting, they all agreed today that there is an urgent need to get those essential caretakers back into long term care facilities because they say that these communications through phone screens and tablets and through windows and glass doors, it's just not enough, especially for patients who have dementia and can't understand why there's such a big separation. On the governor's task force and a big voice in this afternoon's meeting with state officials was Mary Daniel. You may remember her. She's the Jacksonville woman who took a job as a dishwasher in her husband's long term care facility to spend permitted time with him. She's pushing for essential caregivers across the state like herself to be allowed regular access to their loved ones. My goal is to get us back to our loved ones. It's five months and there are people dying today right now. Daniel wants essential caregivers in first. Even if it's just one person, she says that's better than no one. On the meeting was Secretary Mary Mayhew of the Agency for Healthcare Administration, who agreed there needs to be a clearly defined allowance for essential and compassionate caregivers. Daniel says an essential caregiver designation is a starting point. If outdoor visits is all we got, then we'll take outdoor visits to start. But one of the things we're also looking for is a roadmap as to if we start with outdoor visits, what when can we get inside and what does that look like? The Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services gave an overview today for what that could look like. These are some of the current recommendations from CMS for states to consider before they reopen. Facilities must go 28 days with no new COVID-19 cases. Nursing homes should have sufficient staff. They should also have an adequate supply of PPE and access to testing. Executive Director of the Florida Healthcare Association, Emmett Reed, says facilities should have control over who visits and when. They need to be allowed to the scheduling of visitors by appointment to maintain social distancing, for instance. One idea Governor DeSantis has championed as an early step would be to allow family members who have tested positive for COVID-19 antibodies to be permitted to visit first, saying those antibodies give a certain level of immunity. If the state does come up with some sort of plan to allow limited visitation, a big topic up for discussion today was if that should be allowed statewide or if it should be left up to the individual facilities to decide if, to decide if they want any visitation. Coming up tonight at 11, you'll hear the different arguments during the meeting that we heard for both cases. We're live tonight. I'm Maggie Lorenz, Channel 4, the local station.